Dude, I, I saved so many trophies I for know. today. I know. I did too, man. Like, I'm just spamming them literally right now, dude. I'm going to spam every single trophy I have until I get a... Oh, shiny mountain top. Hold on. Auto loading. Really? Okay. Go oh, it's, it's got spike. Uh, and over overflow. And one for all. <laughs> oh my god. What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we are going to be talking about the mountaintop and can I just stop here and acknowledge how crazy it is for me to say that? Like if you would have asked me years ago when the mountaintop first got sunsetted, I would have thought it's going to stay in your collection, in your vault, in perpetuity. That we'd really never see this weapon back because of how badly it warped the meta and Bungie did all this stuff to get rid of it. And here we are in 2024 going over the mountaintop, the new god rolls it can get, the incredible performance. I mean, what a journey it's been. Now, let's move on before I start tearing up here, okay? So, what makes the mountaintop unique, especially for the people who weren't around for the original version? Well, it's the only micro-missile frame grenade launcher in the entire game. And what that means is that the projectiles will kind of behave like a missile. They're going to go a lot faster than other grenade launcher archetypes. The damage is going to be more focused on the center of impact. And speaking of impact, the projectiles will explode when they hit any surface. So unlike a lightweight frame where if you hit the ground, it will bounce, the mountaintop projectile will explode every single time. And so... Overall, even though you have to be a little bit more accurate with the mountaintop because you want to be getting those direct impacts, it's actually arguably easier to use than other normal grenade launcher archetypes because where you shoot is exactly where the projectile is going to go and exactly where it's going to explode. So with that being said, how does the new mountaintop perform? Like, is it any good? Well, to be honest, guys, I really love this thing oh my goodness i think this is a new god tier grenade launcher for pve i think this is going to make its way into so many different loadouts because i want to point out all of the background gameplay is legend difficulty onslaught and i'm not just going to wave 10 and resetting i'm going all the way to wave 50 with the mountaintop multiple times and i'm not even just necessarily doing that for gameplay i just legitimately added it to my loadout so how this thing performs is really interesting in the meta and it gives you a new tool for your loadout because the mountaintop can still absolutely add clear. You're going to see some background gameplay where I shoot it into a group of enemies and they all die. That's fantastic. Now, it's not going to be as good at ad clearing compared to a wave frame grenade launcher. Like a forbearance is going to be better at ad clearing. But the mountaintop is going to be significantly better than other grenade launchers at single target damage. So when you have those yellow bars, when you're fighting a mini boss or a boss and you've ran out of heavy, you have a tool in your arsenal that can legitimately chunk those enemies. Even on the later waves, a direct impact with the mountaintop, with spike grenades, we're going to talk about rolls in a sec, actually did a legitimate amount of damage, whereas other grenade launcher archetypes would not be able to match that degree of damage. And so it gives you a tool that's good for ad clearing, but not the best, but also provides that insane single target damage. Like if you're using something like a sniper rifle, that's insane single target damage, but horrendous at ad clearing, right? So this kind of fits into a little bit of a new slot in your loadout. It can do things that other weapons really can't do. And that is a huge feather in the mountaintop's cap. Now, when we talk about what god rolls to go for for PvE, guys, like... It's almost impossible to get a bad roll for this thing. Like, every single perk is a banger. It, there's perks that are worse than others. Sure, don't get me wrong. But again, it, it is like a 90% chance when you get a mountaintop, you will get a serviceable roll. That's how good the perk quality is. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say you absolutely want spike grenades. This is going to improve your direct impact damage. And there is no better grenade launcher in the entire game than to direct impact with than the mountaintop. Now, I've seen some confusion. Some people I've been playing with have actually said to me, well, spike grenades got nerfed. It did for heavy grenade launchers. 
I believe it's completely untouched on special grenade launchers. So you absolutely still want spike grenades to improve your direct impact damage. Now moving on to that first perk slot, you have <gasps> Ambitious Assassin, Impulse Amplifier, Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Slick Jaw, which is the only one I'm not too crazy about, then Auto Loading Holster and Overflow. We'll go over those more in a sec, but really, again, it's hard to get a bad roll. Demolitionist is not the perk I'm gonna recommend, but if you get a demo mountaintop, I mean, that's still gonna be great. Get grenade energy, throw your grenade and instantly reload it. Uh, the curated roll that you get for completing the mountaintop quest that allows you to attune it comes with lead from gold, which is kind of another uh, good option. Pick up heavy and get special ammo. Uh, but what I really think the best two options are here uh, are going to form two different alternative god rolls. And frankly, you want them both. So one god roll is going to be the aggressive mountaintop. This is going to be for the people who want to take out the mountaintop and use it. Like, not put it away, not switch off of it, use it consistently until you're basically out of ammo. And for that role, you want either Ambitious Assassin, which is going to double your magazine size when you get a kill and technically can triple it if you're absolutely popping off. And then also you have Overflow, where picking up special or heavy ammo will reload your magazine instantly and also double it. So keep in mind, Overflow will reload and double your magazine even if the mount top is stowed. So you're using another weapon, you pick up heavy, you switch back to the mount top, have fun with two rounds of the mag. Very good perk. And it's what you're gonna be seeing a lot of in the background gameplay because I did get it on my incredible shiny roll you saw at the beginning of the video. However, I actually think Ambitious Assassin is a bit better for this aggressive god roll. It's just more consistent at getting two rounds in the magazine. Now, to pair with either of those two perks, you want a damage increasing perk. And I think the best one for this god roll is actually gonna be one for all, where damaging three separate enemies within three seconds gives you a 35% damage increase. This is one of the biggest damage boosts in the game. And with the mount top, this is super easy. Again, you do not need to kill three enemies, you just need to damage them. So often one single shot from the mount top at a group of enemies will instantly give you one for all for the follow-up shots, right? And then once you have one for all active and you have two rounds in the magazine, it's over. Like you are absolutely dump trucking on enemies. So extremely good god roll, the aggressive god roll, ambitious or overflow plus one for all. Now you could also go with uh, something like frenzy or vorpal or rampage or another damage increasing perk if you want, but I think one for all is optimal there. Now that's one god roll. The alternative god roll is frankly just as good and it involves auto loading holster. This is gonna be for the people who want to whip out their grenade launcher, shoot a shot at either a group of enemies or a powerful enemy, and then switch off of it. You know, people who like using blinding grenade launchers but wanna incorporate the mountaintop into that type of playstyle. You whip it out, you shoot something, you absolutely chunk it, or you kill a bunch of ads, and then you go back to doing whatever you're doing, you whip it out again, it's reloaded, that style of gameplay. And for that, again, you're using auto-loading holster and you're combining it with two different perks. Perk one is Harmony, where if you get a kill with other weapons, you switch to the mountaintop, you're gonna get a 20% damage increase. Like, pretty darn good. But I actually think Recombination is better. The fact that you could actually get Recombination here is kind of nuts. This was an old raid perk for Deepstone Crypt weapons, so it's extremely rare to see, and it works perfectly with Autoloading Holster. It says Elemental Kills, AKA kills with your other weapons are going to give you a stack of recombination. Each stack is 10% more damage in PVE and you can get 10 stacks. And yes, that means you get a 100% damage increase with 10 stacks. And so you're using you know, any number of incredible energy weapons. You're using the Sunshot. How easy is it to get 10 kills with the Sunshot? It's basically free. One kill on the Sunshot turns into 10 stacks of recombination, guys. But I digress. You get your 10 Sunshot kills, you switch to the mountaintop, you crank a yellow bar or a group of enemies for 100% more damage, and you switch off of it, you keep going, you switch back to it. Even if you only get five stacks, 
Guys, you, you get half of recombination's potential with five stacks. That's 50% more damage. That's still nuts. So that is another incredible god roll. Uh, Auto Load and Holster plus Recombination. And I think those are like the two PvE god rolls that you want to get. Like genuinely, I do have different versions. I wish I'd kind of gotten that on my shiny. Like I'm getting close with Auto Loading plus Vorpal, which again is very good because Vorpal is always going to be active. Uh, and then I do have uh, Overflow plus One For All, which is incredible, but I think I could do like slightly better. Um, but still like... That is kind of what you want to have. You want to have an aggressive roll with perks that double the magazine size, and then you want to have an auto-loading roll. And if you don't want recombination or harmony, uh, frenzy is actually going to be good here because it's going to trigger while mountaintop is stowed, and and so is vorpal because you whip it out and it's going to be active. Like with an auto-loading roll, you want to you want to have the damage increasing perk active when you whip it out for the first time. You don't want to have to you know, start getting kills to trigger the damage increasing perk like we were talking about with One For All, right? So those are the two PvE God Rolls and each one is incredible. Like each one is a huge addition to your arsenal. And just the way that Mountaintop behaves, the amount of damage it can do, how easy it is to use because of that instantaneous explosion, it adds a new dynamic to your loadout, right? Before, if you're using a grenade launcher in your special, you are really just using either blinding grenades or wave frames. And the mountaintop gives you a new option, right? Let's say you are using something like the Sunshot. You've got ad clearing covered. You don't need a wave frame. You need to sure up your single target damage. That's great for the mountaintop. That's gonna be a huge addition, right? So I think the mountaintop is fantastic. The roll quality is beyond god tier. Go after this weapon 100%. And if you do get a roll anywhere near as good as the roll I got, where you do have auto loading plus that uh, magazine increasing perk in the same roll, that is fantastic. And that is going to be something that you legitimately do, just swap the perks around depending on what content you're doing, what the other items in your loadout are. And man, Bungie has been knocking out of the park with these brave arsenal weapons. Like the, the god rolls are just incredible. Don't forget, you also have an origin trait, right? The mountaintop did not have an origin trait when it first came out. The origin traits didn't even exist back then. And so now you have the ability to get grenade energy while using a light subclass or melee energy when using a darkness subclass. And so you basically have, you know, a, a mini version of demo or pugilist while you're using this weapon as well. So you just get passive more abilities. And uh, don't forget when Bungie revealed prismatic, the new subclass coming in the final shape that's a mix of light and dark, I think Indomitability, the origin trait, is going to give you both grenade and melee energy when you're playing Prismatic. And that is insane. And so guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.